We start with Action 7 News reporter Justin Matthews. He's going to tell us the city's plans for 14 million to help with the homeless problem. Yes, most of you voted yes on various improvement projects around Albuquerque. A big chunk of the money is going to a new homeless shelter. But the big question remains tonight. Where in the city is it going to go? $14 million will be spent to help the homeless crisis in the Duke City. The plan, a 300 bed, 24 hour emergency shelter somewhere in town. A decision on location hasn't been made. Carol Pierce is the director of family and community services for the city and says community meetings will continue to figure out where the best place will be for the shelter. There's currently a shelter on the far west side near Double Eagle Airport, 20 miles from downtown. The city says it spends a million dollars a year just in transportation costs to and from that shelter. The new facility saves money, but homeless advocates have cold feet about it, despite saying the city's vision is with good intentions. So we're going to save a million dollars a year, but we're not going to come anywhere close to solving our current uh, crisis in, in the city. He says the best way to solve the homeless crisis is to use that $14 million to build several smaller shelters around the city rather than a single 300 bed facility. Carol Pierce says that is part of the community conversation moving forward. We have gotten feedback that is that one building or is it four buildings on a site where women and children are separate from women or men? I mean, I think that's open for discussion and that's what we need to talk with our community about. And those community conversations are going to continue in December. They're going to be really about where the shelter is going to go and what it will look like. The city tells me those meetings are going to most likely continue through the end of next year. Live in Albuquerque, Justin Matthews, KOAT Action 7 News. And the city hopes to break ground on the shelter in the year of 2021.